Good lord, that all came off my head. And we're not even done yet, man. We're not even done yet. I'm going full dad. I got a kid on the way in two months. I'm going full dad. Uh, okay. Hey. Your hair is short. <laughs> Turn around. Is it, or is it in a ponytail? It's gone. Oh, shoot. Bobby, is there any part of you that's crying right now doing this? Because I am. Oh, not, uh, th these eyes are as dry. <laughs> oh, that's good. I need you to see very well. Hey, so yeah, uh, your wife is having a baby. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know who the father is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Oh, not uh, th these eyes are as dry. <laughs> oh, that's good. I need you to see very well. As dry as they come. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna keep a lot of length all the way around. Yeah. Um, my hair is, you know, my hair is weird, man. It's like, when I wash it, it's like, whenever I get it wet, it gets curly. Um, it has like a natural coarseness to it that, that makes it a little drier than somebody like Eric Banholtz, um, who, his hair is just very oily to begin with. Um, so I kind of had to go with with my hair. I would go almost a full week without washing it or getting it wet. Charging by the <laughs> Good lord, that all came off my head. And we're not even done yet, man. We're not even done yet. That's like a full human. Bro. <laughs> I'm a little bit in shock right now. Um, yeah, like this is like I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna have my hair. You know, it's uh, when you have long hair, you start to have a reoccurring dream where you cut your hair and you wake up and you're freaking out and you're like, why did I do that? Um, well, now it's a nightmare because you are cutting it. <laughs> and then. I was supposed to come in last week and get this done, and I got COVID. Uh, but the night before I was supposed to come in, I had a dream where I cut my hair and I didn't freak out. It was the first time, first time in two years that I had a dream where I cut my hair and I didn't freak out. And that's when I knew it, it was time and I was I was ready. So um, hey, so can we put your head in the to in the thing just to wet it down? Yeah, yeah, we we're can. not gonna. No, I mean I'd say we're good here. We're probably done. Yeah. Yeah, That's, this is great. When you're this beautiful, you can pull off any look. This is like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> so, just to uh, just to relax the hair because I'm gonna be cutting into it right now, and I uh, this will just speed up the time of that I get his head wet <laughs> instead of just spraying it for like ten minutes. We can relax it a bit. I'm gonna go with. Uh, are you an old money guy? Yeah, I like old money. Sweet. New money guy. So we're gonna just, yeah, wet his hair. Definitely no money guy, I'm, I'm with you. Yes, yeah, so this, this will make cutting his hair a lot easier. Help some of those curls activate once it starts drying. So you know how in like old movies and sitcoms when uh, you know a woman gets asked on a date and she doesn't wanna go and she makes an excuse that she has to wash her hair? It's, that's real, like washing my hair would take me literally 30 to 40 minutes. It was a whole process. Uh, I'm so looking forward to just uh, being able to quickly wash and condition my hair again and not have hair all over the bathtub. So now it's just, now that we've gotten the bulk out of the way, now the hair is nice and soft and supple, we can just give it a haircut. So being that that style of haircut is pretty even all around, we're not gonna aim to have a bunch of taper. So I'm just creating like the one main guide and we're just gonna follow this through the, out the rest of the haircut. Kind of aiming for that three and a half, three and a quarter amount of length. And, uh, and we might clean up the edges, give it a little bit of texture. Curly hair uh, already has a lot of texture so we don't need to worry about doing a bunch of channel cutting or, or, uh, or, or point cutting. It's just a matter of tidying up some of those edges to uh, accentuate what's already in play, which like I said, is really nice curls. Was the Tom Selleck the, the inspiration right away or did you kind of go through a few different phases of motivation? You know, I really, I, I didn't. I, 
didn't really know what I wanted to do and I think that that kind of played into me not getting it cut for so long because I just couldn't think of an alternative. Um, and you're definitely not a guy who's just going to get a fade. No, and that, that's the, I think that's the, that's the challenging part is I didn't want to do that. I think if I was going to do anything other than what I'm doing right now, it might just be like a straight up buzz cut. Because I haven't, great look I haven't had one in so long, and I think I wow, will at some right point. Then. Yeah, I don't think I was ready to go for that that much of a transition. Yeah. Um, but I do think I'll probably do one of the maybe next summer. I might do like a good classic buzz or a crew cut because uh, I just haven't done that in so long. Yeah. This uh, this is a nice a nice stepping stone towards that. It's not as yeah. As abrupt as the other one. Yeah. You know, it's funny though, man. I just, I feel like so many of those like 90s haircuts and 80s haircuts have all come back in the past couple of years. Oh, the center um, parts, the... The center parts, the curtains, even the mullet. Um, all that stuff has come back and I started thinking, I've always liked having a mustache. Like that's been my go-to look. And I just started playing around with the idea of why not go for that just that total Tom Selleck look and see if I can pull it off. You already wear your shirts pretty like buttoned far down, so. It's true, it's true, <laughs> man. You got aviators. Yeah. You got a kid on the way, so I doubt you're gonna be uh, cruising in the Ferrari. No, cruising in the Subaru. <laughs> the cruiser -y. Hey, so yeah, uh, your wife is having a baby. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know who the father is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're putting this video together to hopefully answer that question. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna send this out all around Texas. Yeah, that's exciting, man. Two months to, two months to go. Two months to go. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Oh man, we're fucking stoked for you, man. So if you guys didn't know, Mike writes for Beard Brand. Mike takes care of us. He makes us sound good, look good. He's the one that does a lot of research, like on a Van Dyke, or where the goatee came from. That's oh. true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's a, he's educated. He's an educator. For his no guard. Yeah. Um, I want to go pretty high up on the sideburn. I've learned that like if I don't have like. If I let my sideburn come down too far with the mustache, I start to look like Ned Flanders. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta bring that, I gotta bring that sideburn up. Great guy. Great guy. Not, not the kind of. Yeah, yeah. Not the guy not, you want to be associated like. with. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hey, you're looking a sexy Ned Flanders. This can be on or off the record, but you got a name for that baby? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's a boy. Um, we got a short list, but we kind of got to, I think we got to lay eyes on the sucker before we uh, make it make it permanent, yes. you know? You just like see a kid and be like, oh, we can't call you Hank. This is, uh, this is true, man. Hank's not on the list. Hank is a good name. Hank's a good name. Hank's There's a, a good baby name Hank. Yeah, that kid's winning like awards without even trying. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's always that's always a that's always a fun one, man. It's like you you're looking at your calendar, you're seeing who's coming up on your on your appointments, mm -hmm. and you uh, you see a name that's not familiar, and like, okay, you know, Hercules is coming in today. Cool. Hercules. Yeah, and then like a guy like me walks in. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, your parents went wrong. Chose wrong. Milk was a bad choice. Milk's never a bad choice. And a hot day where it's dribbling down your mustache? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> mm. 
I feel like my hair is in shock right now. Did uh, did your lady have any uh, any 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 comments or any feelings about today's visit? You know, she's heard me complaining about my hair for the past year and a half. Oh, so, so she wants like, you to cut it just so you can shut up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think <laughs> I think her exact words were, um, "You're gonna complain regardless of what you do." So <laughs> she knows you well. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about hair, man. Nobody wants the hair they have. It's a sad truth, man. Yeah. And then if you don't have hair, you just wish you had hair at all. And then when you have too much hair, you're just like, ah, buzz it off. Yeah. Like, what the? Damn it, Bob. Two good haircuts today. Yeah, you, they, you've done how many? 12 today? That was the second. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't finish. Yo, what's up, buddy? What's Hey Katie, what's uh, what's the what's the story? What's the, what you up to? I'm yeah, congratulations. Thank you. In Ramsey's spot. Yeah. Stay soft. Word. Okay. Bob, I gotta say you're doing a pretty okay job so far. Yeah, that's that's my that's my standard. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. keep it okay. Yeah, pretty but, okay. So if I do a good job, it's just like, yo, I did yeah. a real good yeah. job. I always tell people that I'm like 5'3", and they're like, nah, you're taller than that. It's like, yeah, I am. So I always say, like, God, I'm 5'4"? <laughs> and a half. All right, all right. Gotta have, gotta have fractions, man. I know that Americans are not used to fractions, but you're kind of Canadian, right? <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Reach for the stars, buddy. He, uh, he played hockey, so I just figured he's... I played street hockey. I played roller hockey. We were too poor to play ice hockey. Definitely it's Canadian. It's a very expensive sport. I've seen Mighty Ducks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just cake eaters. Why were there so many great sports movies in the 90s? There's like a whole niche, a whole genre. Angels in the Outfield, Rookie oh, of the Year, Mighty a, Ducks. We've been, we've been going through that list, me and the little dude. Yeah. Uh, I showed him uh, Little Giants the other day. Little Giants. Classic. Yeah, Icebox. Uh, we watched Mighty Ducks. We Sandlot. watched. You know, gotta watch the Sandlot. Um, there's another one. Everyone should watch Roller Babies. Roller Babies? Yeah, I think it's Roller Babies. It's about roller skating in the, in the post-apocalyptic world hmm. where you have to skate for your life. It's like, it's like what you guys are doing in Canada. In Canada. But they do it in the desert. Yeah. For the record, I'm not Canadian. I grew up in northern New York, near Canada. Uh, I guess. But I can't. It's a made up potato, man. Yeah, I can't officially claim it. Tomato potato. And Montreal's my favorite North American city, though. It's not the widest neck that I've ever cut, but pretty damn close. I like to uh, be the best I can. <laughs> I like to win at everything. Thank you for your service. Like I said, now that his hair is starting to dry up a little bit, now that we've gone over the entire haircut, I'm just looking to see how it reacts, if we need to take anything else down a little bit more aggressively. Um, once again, his hair starting to dry up is a good indicator of what it's going to act like when, you know, he's waking up in the morning, how much effort he's going to put into, is he going to really start to look and have that shape of the Tom Selleck? Because, um, yeah, you can, you can follow the same recipe, but if you have different texture hair, you know, different face, <laughs> it's going to... It's gonna look always a little, a little different. Yeah, 
And the other thing is I, I don't want to make it look just like the Tom Selleck haircut because that is very, very dating. But if we can emulate it, show respect, then I'll, I'll be, I'm stoked. A modern uh, interpretation, if you will. Like even those mullets that we were talking about earlier, you know, even those done in a certain way looked like they were straight out of the straight out of the 70s, straight out of the 80s. Yeah. But a couple of little modern edges here and there, and it usually has to do with just that like little finishing portion. Mm -hmm. um, We should just have a mega cut of just eyebrow eyebrow trims. Yeah, yeah like for the for the stories or like our shorts. Just have your favorite eyebrow trims one reel. Favorite favorite eyebrow trims of 2022. I got that right on the first try, 2022 as opposed to the 2023, because that's the year that we're in yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. guys. You have not done many eyebrow trims in 2023, I assume. Not, uh, yeah, not a lot, but enough. How's it feel to know that it'll never live up to my eyebrow trim? You might as well just not do any more the rest of the year. You know what? <laughs> Call it quits. I'm yeah. walking out. I'm putting the clippers down after this. That's it. I kind of dig it, man. This is just a little messy and a little sloppy. I'm gonna make sure that I got it even on both sides. Money. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. Hey, you're sitting in a professional's chair. Not and because not because I had doubts in Bobby. <laughs> no, I, I know what you mean, man. It's a uh, like you said. You've been you've been committed to that long style for so long. Yeah. And then going this drastic, it's uh, yeah. You never know. No, I never raise a shave. He's got that baby skin. Shape just preference, or what's your thought process there? <laughs> Yo, look at uh, well. <laughs> look at that gray uh, hair growing in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like uh, you know I like having a little bit of stubble. Um, so the quicker I can get back to that, the the better. Um, you know, shaving with the razor just gives me a couple extra more days to go before I get back to like that peak peak stubble length. Giving me a goatee again. <laughs> you remember that article you wrote about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you. No, your jaw is just so sharp that it's, it's more of a precautionary, like, um, we're just doing this in sections. Goatee. Keep dreaming, Bobby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I feel ready to change some diapers. <laughs> the sexiest Ed Flanders, or Ned Flanders. Um, well, you gotta have an even length, the most length being on the top so that it can curl down into the, into the mouth and um, Mark's got it going on. He's, it's just a, it's a little frayed here at the bottom so we're just gonna sharpen it up a bit. But the key to, to getting that, that weight up top is when you're trimming it, comb, 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 and only trim the bottom. If you start shaving the top and trying to bring it down, a lot of that bulk's gonna disappear and you're going to lose the, uh, that walrus look. So all the, the, the clipper should only be touching this bottom line. Well, I'm, as I'm looking at the, the, the shape of the hair in the, in the mirror and seeing how, what it's doing, I want to take it down a little bit more, but I want to have a little bit more softness. So instead of just taking a regular flat shear and just chopping out the, um, the ends, I'm taking up about a half inch and a little bit softer edges because I'm using blending shears. So I know it's half an inch because I'm doing it right above my knuckle and I'm only pinching that last half inch of hair to get a little more snug to the head. Is it cool if I call you Mike? Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. He has the hair and everything without the mustache. <laughs> Mud Far Quad! Handsome Shrek. Handsome Shrek. Yeah, the The wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> uh, R.I.P. <laughs> As we start to see that volume kind of coming in, I want to give a little bit of moisture, a little bit of shine, so I'm going to throw in some of our old money oil, just three, three drops right there. You drag it through the hair, infuse some of that shine and moisture. Just a smudge of our styling paste. Gonna take some getting used to. First haircut in three years. Haven't seen my face with these proportions in a long time. Yeah. Uh, overall, great cut. Very happy with what Bob did. And do you think more people should come visit the beer brand barbershop? One hundred percent. Tom Selleck, what do you call it? I don't know, Sebring? Sebring? That's what, that's what Bobby called it. I like it. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, do you like it? I think I do. Yeah? I think I, it's like I'm in shock. Yeah, you look so I haven't, I haven't seen my head with these proportions in, in years. I'm so used to like just the hair yeah. being down here, so. You got more volume. More volume, so much volume. So much volume. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Took a while to cut it, man. Hey. Your hair is short. <laughs> Turn around. Is it, or is it in a ponytail? It's gone. Oh, shoot. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. What made you do that? 
Uh, I got a kid on the way. It's just time to embrace the full dad look. Oh, and they pull hair. They pull hair. That's it. Yeah. Hard to change diapers when there's hair in your face. This is true. I do like <laughs> I like Come on, I do like it, though. Yeah. It's time for a change. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. I want... When they want to get rid of that horse back there, can that. I have that, please? All right. We'll see. We'll see, <laughs> I'll see what we can do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. That's good.